snake. Wait here. I'll get a medic. That can't be any good. I've been wondering where this guy was, though. Rise and shine, Snake. Look, the war is over. to do that. This is just as I'd hoped things would end. Back before Father's time, before Zero gave birth to the Patriots, the US, China, and the Soviet Union formed a secret pact. The organization they created was called the Philosophers. Through two world wars, it spread its roots and extended its reach. After that, the philosophers splintered, and factions began to squabble over the fortune they'd amassed. They called it the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive cache of funds that would later provide the foundation for Zero's patriots. Zero sought to use his riches to achieve world domination. Our father, Big Boss, sought to free himself from that chokehold. His dream was to create an army of free citizens, one that answered to no government. Outer heaven. But he failed because of you. Nine years ago, I tried to free us from the control of our genes. Four years later, our dear brother Solidus sought to free us from the control of the Patriots' means. All of that, all of it, was nothing more than a process of trial and error. The end result of which is outer haven to be free from Sons of the Patriots, the ultimate form of external control imposed on the Patriot soldiers. Free from Fox Die. Free from the system. Free from ID control. Our minds free from their prisons. That is the haven I've yearned for. I was a little bit disappointed at this point in the game where they chose to show a fight between Snake and Liquid, but in a kind of a weird way that was a cutscene rather than allowing us to actually play the game. But it does kind of make sense because they're showing uh, the animations and stuff. And not really something that they could have done in, with having the player control it. So this sort of does make sense. And we will get a chance to actually uh, fight the battle in the
Oh, brutal. Ow. Okay, now we get an opportunity to actually control the fight, and we get to, uh, we get to take control of the snake. And you notice the fight really doesn't have like the same kind of quality. You don't have that many moves you can do, and really the fight isn't the most exciting things. They're certainly not what I'd consider worthy of an end boss for the game. Something you may notice, though, is that the audio for the gameplay has been muted. And that was an unfortunate side effect of a failed recording of screwed up recording. Now, ordinarily, I would not let that stand. This kind of thing does happen to me quite a bit, and I usually go back and fix the error before I create the video. But what happened in this case was I played the game on my PlayStation and recorded it on my computer, and when I was going through editing, I realized that there was no audio. The entire episode had no audio. Even the parts that you could hear it, it was because I re-recorded it. I went back and I recorded it again. Then I found out that, geez, something else went wrong. Instead of, uh, it recorded it in a different video format, one that my video editor would not recognize. Why the hell that happened, I don't know. So then I recorded it again, and it ended up not only screwing up the audio, but it cut off the end of the fight. So everything got really messed up, and I was frustrated as hell, so instead of fixing the problem. I'm just going to deal with it. It also meant that the end of this episode, the last about two minutes or so, are not going to be my actual gameplay footage. I just sought out the video, the footage and edited it into my video, so you may see it look a little bit different. Okay, here we have the final fight between Solid Snake and Liquid Ocelot. This is the end of the game, the end boss. And... Well, Liquid doesn't seem to have had too much of an issue with what Snake did. Snake went and... Well, he destroyed the GW, the AI that 
Liquid had that he was trying to take control of the Patriot system with. And that seemed to have uh, spread out the virus that was created by by Sonny and Naomi and all that. Sought out, it spread out from GW and took down the entire Patriot system. Now, Ocelot seemed to have thought that was just awesome. Because that's really what he wanted the entire time. And so he referenced back to the different games in the series. Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, with Outer Heaven. Then you had Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 2 and all that were just a series of attempts to overthrow the Patriots' control. And it was that the earlier attempts failed, but eventually led up into this portion where, yes, in fact, the Patriots have finally been dethroned. The Patriots have lost control. Their AI system has been disconnected. And the world is basically free, but what kind of damage that could result in? Well, we don't know yet. But, uh... Even though he lost, basically, Liquid still seems to think that he did good. Now here we have a fight. What's going on here is, at certain points, everything changes where instead of fighting just Ocelot, Liquid Ocelot, then you change into fighting uh, like a flashback and you were, he was fighting as Ocelot instead of Liquid Ocelot. It was, it was a confusing thing. And we're about to see that in a minute, but I won't really get a chance to explain it all in depth until the <laughs> audio's back. This is only the beginning, Snake. America will descend into chaos. It'll be the Wild West all over again. No law, no order. This fire will spread across the world. The people will fight. And through battle, they will know the fullness of life. Ah. At last, our Father's will is out of heaven. is complete. <laughs> You're pretty good. Pretty good. 